Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, nice summer night, clear skies, warm, somewhat humid, but nothing really extreme. Threat tracker is, well, all green. We'll call it tranquil now through the overnight and into Tuesday. So high impact, significant or severe weather not anticipated despite just the outside chance of a passing shower tomorrow. It's fairly quiet. I think the better chance of showers actually coming up on Wednesday, but high humidity, at least for the next couple of days, some things that I'm tracking uh, through Wednesday and then noticeably dry or very refreshing air arriving on Thursday. No extreme heat. We have yet to see a 90 degree day. I mean, we average about 11 90 plus degree days during the summer season. And while we've had some warm days, obviously not 90, at least where the official records are kept at the airport in Warwick. I want to show you Narragansett Town Beach just to show you that the visibility for now is fine, but the humidity is high. So very late tonight, tomorrow morning, we'll start to get at least some patchy fog. Real pretty sunset over Pasco, Echo Lake, and you can see just a few clouds off in the distance, but nice finish to the day. Clear in Providence now, the temperature in the upper 60s and a light southwest breeze. So light wind, high humidity, some of the ingredients that can sometimes produce fog. I think the best chance would be as you get closer to the ocean, the South Shore, Narragansett, Buzzards Bay early tomorrow morning. Upper 60s in Seekonk right now. Most locations now in the upper 60s. So still 70 westerly Newport and Block Island coming in at 72. Here's the wider view across New England. It's quiet under generally clear skies. Showers diminishing to our north very right hand side of your TV set. Let me widen out the view. This is about 350 miles east southeast of Nantucket. Tropical storm Claudette with winds of 50 moving east northeast at 20. It's racing out to sea. Uh, it's undergoing what we call wind shear. In other words, the center of circulation is here. But the thunderstorms are to the right. So when you want to get a tropical storm or a hurricane really well organized, you want to have these bright white clouds, these thunderstorms wrapping around the center, not removed from the center. See how they're kind of peeling off away from the area of low pressure? So that's an indication on the satellite uh, that the storm is, not, is undergoing some uh, decrease and falling apart. Meanwhile, overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, you see low clouds and fog coming in. Little blips of green. We may see an isolated shower tomorrow morning. It's not a washout. It's not a deluge. It's more of a brief interruption, if anything. So really not anticipating much in the way of rain. In fact, by the afternoon hours, partial sunshine. This is 2 o'clock, low 80s inland and 70s at the coastline. So kind of a murky start in the morning, little brightening in the afternoon, small chance of a shower in the morning. But again, we're not talking washout. If you earn a living working outdoors, for the most part, you're okay. And then during the afternoon, partly sunny, warm, humid, actually seasonably warm, daytime highs in the low 80s. Mostly cloudy start with some fog at the beach, a little hazy sun though in the afternoon. Bay forecast has one to three mile visibility early in the morning, three to five miles in haze in the afternoon on a southeast breeze. Seven day future cast. I think very humid with a better chance a warmer day of scattered showers and thunder on Wednesday, especially during the afternoon, brief and scattered, dry, comfortable, refreshing, slightly cooler weather on Thursday, low humidity, 78. Friday looks nice. Right now, the weekend, not bad. Partly sunny both Saturday and Sunday, along with seasonable temperatures. No 90s, but we'll take 83 for an afternoon high. Why not? And nighttime temperatures in the 60s. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Tony. Coming up next on Eyewitness.